What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Android app review. So in today's review, I'm gonna share a way to easily organize your widgets on your home screen by creating a widget in an app called Pop-Up Widget. So what the app allows you to do is really simple and straightforward. If you have widget, a widget or multiple widgets you'd like to have on one home screen instead of, you know, for example, three widgets on three home screens or filling up your whole, whole home screen page, then Pop-Up Widget will help you organize that. So what you'll do is you'll install the app from the Google Play Store and you'll get a, a shortcut to create as many widgets as you want. So you'll see I already have one for my calendar so I can easily touch the calendar icon on my home screen, get a pop-up widget with, you know, upcoming events and things like that. But you can do the same thing with any available widget that's available on your device for an installed app. So when you click on the plus button at the bottom right of your screen, you'll get a nice menu showing apps with available widgets and the number of available widgets per app and you can scroll through to see all apps that are available so for this review i'm going to create a widget for um i'll do something simple like um my chrome bookmarks because i have you know the lately wordle has been the craze so now i'm, I'm currently playing Wordle for words, Gollardle for academic words, Swordle for Star Wars, Nerdle for math, and um, as you can see on my home screen, I have four shortcuts set up for them. But let's say I want to save some space, and same thing for Facebook and Twitter, if I currently use the mobile sites instead of their apps. So let's say instead of five positions on my home screen, I want to just have one position to access all of them. That's where pop-up widgets comes into play so I can have a quick access to my um, Chrome bookmarks and access them at the touch of a button. So what you'll do to get started is in pop-up widget, you're going to click the plus sign and then you'll go to Chrome to, and you'll see that you have the Chrome bookmarks um, widget available. So you'll touch that. You can set the icon to use so you can use a custom icon or the, sorry, the default icon for the app or set a custom icon. So if you have an icon pack installed, you can use a different icon and then hit OK. You can set the title for the shortcut. So in this case, I'll just do bookmarks, something very simple and intuitive for me. Um, you can set the background. So if you want a transparent background, a different special color or things like that, or if you want to use one of the built-in um, skins, you can do that as well. So I'll just do a solid, solid color in this case. Um, Chrome doesn't have anything transparent about its widget, but if you want, so you don't necessarily have to change one there, but the option is available. Um, you can do set things like customize margin, the scale of the widget, the opacity. If you want to dim the screen behind the widget to so you know that there's a widget that's visible. Um, if you want to auto close the widget, so if you know you want something to close automatically, you can do that. Um, you can set close on tap and the swipe direction to close. I have them. I just keep it set for all directions, um, even though in general I usually only swipe left and right or up and down, but you can also usually hit your back arrow to close the widget. Um, you can set the animation speed, or sorry, the animation itself, so you know, popping up, down, fading in and out. The end position if you want where the um, widget opens. And then things like fitting to the screen, the duration of the widget. So if you want it to um, kind of be slow or if you're on a um, older device that doesn't necessarily have a lot of processing power, then you can, you know, set it to be sl as slow or fast as you want. So I'll set it to zero just because I want it to open as fast as possible. Um, and then if you want to delay in starting, so if you want to give, I believe that affects how, uh, like the refresh speed of the widget and things like that. And then of course you can do something simple like the uh, reflection effect when it opens. I turn it off just because it doesn't really matter to me. Um, and then you can set the effect of the widget, so what happens when it opens. And then before you finish, you can also resize the widget so you get a little preview of what it's going to look like. So in this case, I want to expand it a little bit. So the default size of the widget is properly fit to the size of whatever I'm looking at. So there is a size there. So we're all set with that. 
So once you hit back, your widget, your pop-up widget is now saved. From there, you'll touch the title of the widget and it'll ask you if you want to create a shortcut for the widget to add to your home. You'll hit OK and kind of like setting a website shortcut in Chrome to your home screen or your browse, from your browser to your home screen, pop-up widget gives you the same kind of option. So you can add automatically or drag it to your home screen. So now we've created the shortcut. So now when you touch it, the pop-up widget will open. Now this position is uh, not very, you know, user friendly in the way that it's not easy to access. It showed up at the top of the screen. If you hold down on the widget, you'll get this blue border so you can now drag it to anywhere on the screen. You see it's not quite filling the full width of my screen. So I'm going to drag it down to here and I'm also going to make it as wide as possible. So when you're done, if you hit the back arrow, it's now saved the position. So I'll get all the way out by hitting the back button again. So now when I open it, you'll see that it um, fades in, it pops up from the position on the icon, and I can easily access my um, Chrome shortcuts that are saved as a mobile bookmark all in one place. So it's now fit to one icon. Um, and so that's really the bulk of it. And you can do that for any available widget. Um, you can, uh, you know, well, like I said, move it around. You'll see this little arrow. So if you want more fine tuned positioning, um, you know, move it up, you know, very little or a lot or move it, you know, small po points, po small points on your screen. You can do that if you want it to be in a very particular spot. And then, like I said, hitting the back arrow a couple of times will, or at least once it will close the widget. Um, going into back into pop-up widget, you can make various options to adjust the widget. So if you touch the overflow, the three dots and configure, you can do things like setting, setting the scale and make adjustments. So like if you don't like the um, animation or if you want to adjust the speed, you can do that as well to um Adjust, make it adjust to how you want it to open as smooth as possible. So um, it's a very simple widget. It's easy to um, create in um, easily organize your home screen. Um, you can also do things like um, set multiple widgets into one uh, widget if you so choose. So um, if you... Oh, so essentially you'll want to hit these check marks at the top right of the screen, um, select the widgets that you want to add and then hit the check marks. That way, if you want to have, you know, let's say you want, if you have uh, weather widgets with one set of widgets for your daily forecast and an, of weather and then another one with the hourly forecast, then you can put them all in one widget and then touch the icon and have them all show up. So instead of, you know, three widgets or two widgets or whatever on the, your home screen, they're now tied to the icon. So you can touch the icon and view that forecast of or multiple forecasts all at the same time, all at the same time as saving the space on your screen. So that's all there is for this review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can comment on this post on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews to uh, support the so show, get subscription links, and um, get access to past episodes and all of that good stuff. And of course, you can support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.